So the first question is um, for indigenous communities. Sorry, I'm out of right. Yes, so for indigenous communities, yes. it's for such communities. So for example, you are your business or maybe the business you're trying to target. There are rural communities in, uh, let's say, one rural community in Washington State, for example. It won't be, it won't actually do you any good for you to now start speaking English with your very big, sophisticated vocabulary. So there's any local Yoruba look at um, languages that are peculiar to that community, and not just that, not just for you now to now start um, posting this Yoruba, maybe do a Yoruba flyer, and it's been now flyer on Twitter or Instagram, for example. No. There's not any for you to use the communities around there. How do they how, how do they pass information around there? Do they use town crier, for example? Do they um do they have town hall meetings? So there's an incorporation of all these local uh pathways to communicate. So when you have such, it's not easy for you to connect with them. So that should be like your major form of communication. So you leverage on what it's because now it's not just about you having the message. It's about what are the best ways, what are the best pathways, what are the best uh, platforms, what are the best channels for you to communicate this sort of message to them. Do you need to um, translate it to these local languages? Do you need to lo hire local influencers? Do you need to have translators around you? So there's a need for you to have that understanding so that your message is well communicated to them. So the second question, yes, you have different business models, B2C, B2B, sufficient models, and so many other ones. Advertising, yes, for well, those ones like Google, for example, that they have a marketplace and they have they're trying to get users, then they now run ads. So they pay for advertising. So people pay them for advertising. So that's several models. So now, what is your business all about? Is this serving businesses? Is this serving customers? So you have your own business model from, your, from the onset. So what IPs, what um, trademarks, what copyright, what things are you trying to incorporate into this? So there's no particular, I won't say there's a particular business model that suits your IP. No, it's about the customer, right? So your customer will have actually uh, informed the business model will have used from the onset. So your IP is not coming much later, or maybe at the incubation stage, at the foundational stage. But you are you already know your customers. Are they businesses? Are they small businesses? Are they niche businesses in the healthcare space? Are they individuals? Are they individuals that are based on LinkedIn professionals? Or are they individuals that are high school leavers? So you need to identify who your ideal customers are. So when you understand that, you're like, okay, these are the IPs that we need because we're going to be interacting with students. So or because we're going to be interacting with Maybe uh, maybe your 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 business having musicians for example, or no creatives. So you now need that you now need to understand that oh you might need to um, work around IP that you have to be creatives or is your business going to be serving other businesses? So what IPs? What um, are we going to be looking at in, in uh, bringing into the mix? Or now is your businesses serving people that will resell your products or people that will resell your service? So what agreements should they be signing? So it's about the customers. And when you understand that this is about customers, now look, okay, what are those things? Now look at FinTech, for example. A, a, an agreement, a, no, no, when, uh, best, no, when uh, let's say, Facebook, I don't know if they started with enterprises and individuals at the, at the goal, or let's say, for example, they started with individuals, helping individuals to, no, let's say businesses, businesses, yeah, businesses, helping businesses to accept payments and the likes. But now they not, what are we, or Pigibest, no, let's say what are we, what I would like to introduce is this sense of, of helping people to pay for tuition abroad. So that means they're not serving individuals. So that means the IPs they have for businesses then it's not gonna be enough for now for so they now need to have IPs that will uh, that will cover their relationship with individuals 